Well, now to some education news. Some students in Dodge County will have a new class schedule starting next week. The district says students who opted for in-person learning at the Achievement Center, North and South Dodge Elementary and the Middle School will now attend classes face-to-face -face on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. Wednesdays will be an e-learning day. The district is also moving students at the high school into two groups based on their last names. So those students with last names starting A through K will attend in person on Mondays and Thursdays. L through Z will go Tuesdays and Fridays. Both groups will do online learning on Wednesday. These changes will last through the rest of the fall semester. Well, the Georgia Department of Early Care and Learning is celebrating its 10th annual Pre-K Week, which promotes early learning and highlights pre-K programs across the state. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker joins us live from Baldwin County to explain Georgia College's partnership with the school district to provide educational daycare services. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Aaron. Yes, that program is called the Montessori Academy. Now, it started here at the Early Learning Center as an educational daycare service and has since expanded to both primary schools, offering students another learning option in addition to general education. You're showing me the number 10, but where does that go? Georgia College partnered with Baldwin Schools to start the Montessori Academy, where graduate student Jessica Abney says she's using teaching skills she'll need for her education career. I would love to um, be an inclusive special education teacher in a Montessori setting. That would be my dream. Director Kristen Mayer and Early Learning Center Principal Lori Smith explain the difference between the Montessori approach and general education. He's very hands-on as far as the children being able to learn and access lots of different material, lots of different environment. Um, the teachers really act as a guide. Teachers are more like facilitators. They don't stand up and lecture. They meet with small groups of children. They introduce materials and they lead them through um, and through learning. But they let children sort of figure it out. Georgia College provides the staffing for the program at the Early Learning Center. Teachers go through training to be Montessori certified. We do not consider ourselves a daycare. We are truly a learning facility. So even as early as age six weeks, we're working on verbal skills, social skills, and our teachers have the training necessary to help them um, meet the child where they are developmentally. They have 60 students and 20 staff members at the Early Learning Center. Abney is one of the four Georgia College students doing her student teaching with the Montessori Academy. It's just a great opportunity to get some hands-on experience with a different learning um, and teaching strategy. Now the program is tuition based up until pre-K. Mayor said they had so much success with it in its first year that they were able to get money from the state to fund it from pre-K through second grade at their primary schools and they have future plans to expand it to their third grade as well. Reporting live in Baldwin County, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Pepper. I'm also a product of Montessori. Montessori Academy students had the option to return in person or continue virtual learning, but those Tiny little masks were so cute on them. Oh.